Alright, so I believe this is gonna be our epilogue now. I think it's a chapter 7 epilogue. To say the least. But before we get to any of that, let's actually have a little bit of fun. Because, ladies and gentlemen, last night, a post was made on Twitter slash X, whatever the hell you want to call it, regarding me. And once again, it's a very similar kind of post that gets made all the time. And every single time it gets posted, <laughs> it's pretty funny. In particular, this one got some pretty good traction. So, someone who, I'll be honest, I've never heard of, posted this up. Essentially saying, I outlasted Machinima. I outlasted uh, Two Best Friends. I outlasted Cryotic. I've outlasted actual lawsuits and the entirety that they've existed. And I'm still here surviving on the internet. And surprisingly enough, the picture they posted of me is not that bad. <laughs> Usually when someone makes a post like this about me on Twitter, it's some it, like horrendous uh, picture that makes me look absolutely atrociously ugly. And in this case, it was actually like a normal picture from back in the day when I lived in Connecticut. So it's still a nine-year-old outdated picture, but it's not that bad. And... Uh, the, I think the thing that they're talking about now is Achievement Hunter. If you guys aren't aware, you know, Achievement Hunter has been around for a very long time on YouTube. It's uh, an offshoot of Rooster Teeth, and it's a group that essentially would do everything they could to earn achievements in Xbox versions of games. I don't know if they ever delve into the PC side of things, too, because they also have achievements. Um, but, you know, well-known, have run for over a decade, right? Very popular on YouTube or whatever, and as of, you know, overnight, they're gone. They decided to shut down that all the people who work on Achievement Hunter are going to go off and work on separate projects completely unrelated to Achievement Hunter. Um, I, I, I'm actually wondering if this is part of the whole breakdown of Rooster Teeth because I keep hearing over the last one to two years that Rooster Teeth has fallen apart and really isn't working anymore and therefore they're trying to regroup and rebrand and change all their content and make different content and stuff like that. Maybe that's what it is. In truth, I have literally never watched Achievement Hunter, so I don't really know what's going on over there. But the thing is, when posts like this are made about me, all right, I do feel like there's two schools of thought. One school of thought is, what a complete idiot. This guy is a complete laughing stock joke, and it's hilarious to know that he's still around when all these other things that were way more popular than him, that were way more successful than him, that people viewed in way more of a positive light than him, are still, are, are gone, and he's still around. Right? But for me, when I see it from my perspective, I have a different take. You have to understand something. All right? I am Joe Nobody. I am the little guy on the internet. I was never the big promoted guy. I never had crossovers with other YouTubers. I was never promoted. I never did promotions. You know what I'm saying? Like, never ever was I one of these groups. Like, Achievement Hunter is a group of content creators from Rooster Teeth who all work together and collaborate. I never had that. It was always just... DSP, by himself doing shit. If people are really motivated to subscribe to my Dark Side Phil Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash Dark Side Phil because they want to see me topless in the shower again, I guess I'll do it. I, I mean, you know, no skin off my back. Who gives a shit, right? Seriously, who cares? Um, it's not a big deal. Uh, I'll do that. But if there's something else that people want as a goal for this 500 subs goal that'll motivate them to, to sub, then I'll do that too. You understand? And... Basically, the way I see it is, in the 15 years that I've been making content, all right, I've stayed true to myself. I never sold out. I still make honest content. I'm not here shilling with paid promotions in every stream that I do. I'm not here literally doing drama news and, and gossip and slandering other people on a daily basis for clickbait. And or drama video makers, which I'm not. I'm not going to do just constant drama, drama, drama video. I like playing games and having fun with them and sharing those raw experiences with you guys and gals. Instead, I'm doing what I love. I'm covering video games, I'm playing video games, I'm hanging out with my audience, as big or small as it may be today, but I still appreciate the audience that likes me and wants to hang out with me every day and supports me in my efforts to stay true to myself. You know, Less drama, more fun, and more enjoying gaming together than anything else. That's been my focus this year, okay? You know, all these years. And it's funny because I made this post this morning, and immediately you see people start saying things like, oh, he did sell out because he streams and he advertises and he takes in contributions, all things he used to hate. That's selling out? Or is that just evolving and, and changing with the times because that's what 
everyone is doing to survive because YouTube changed. Truth is, if YouTube never changed and lost ad revenue, I'd probably still be making a living on YouTube ad revenue on videos. But what happened on YouTube was the adpocalypse. And at that time, you had to change to survive or else you're just going away because you couldn't make a living on YouTube just on ad revenue again. It changed, right? You say whatever you want, all right, about Logan Paul. You like him, you dislike him, all right? All I know is, we all know what he did on YouTube. We know, you know, that it's not just him, but a class of people on YouTube that literally led to the ad revenue apocalypse. And people like him who keep putting up that kind of crap on YouTube are the reason why YouTube fell apart at the seams. And sadly, it's Google and YouTube that propagate that kind of toxic crap that have ruined the website, you know? So say what you want. Oh, no, he's a big fan base. He's a smart guy. I don't care. All I know is what I know from seeing the crap that we've seen from him. And I really feel that it's people like him and a lot of others who created the downfall of YouTube. Um, in my opinion, I changed for the better. I listened to the feedback of my viewers and I adapted per what they wanted. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> but I still love what I do. No, selling out would have been if literally I'm exactly the same as everybody else. I sit here every day and I shill some junk to make a buck. I play games only because I'm being paid to play them. I have insane drama content, drama segments, causing big dramatic arguments with people, slandering people every day, like the YouTube drama queens every day, j b bending into the hor horrible, toxic, lol cow culture aspect of the, the internet, doing self-destructive things just for quick short-term gain, like, like someone paying me to do some kind of a stunt. <laughs> I wonder who did stuff like that recently. <clears throat> but I think you understand what I'm saying, okay? Um, I'm happy that I have evolved and changed, but at the same time stayed true to who I am as a content creator and that I'm still here 15 years later. I mean, kind of, we, we just celebrated this. We just celebrated my 15-year anniversary as a YouTuber and the fact that I'm still here, I'm still able to do what I love, and I still have an audience that appreciates that. You know what I'm saying? So thank you to everyone who's still here, who still enjoys my content, who still supports the content. Thank you very, 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 very much. Really. And in reality, I don't think this guy up here was trying to be malicious. He was just rolling into the meme, which was nice. Because I actually, it's rare to see a post by someone that's not completely like, let's destroy Dark Side Phil. You know, like they could have had my O face on this post or something fucked up. And instead, the guy was actually not that bad. So I want to say, hey, shout out for once not being a complete scumbag to me because it's nice that people every once in a while actually give me a fair shake. And uh, thank you all. And now let's continue on with our normal podcast. <clears throat> okay. And by the way, I guess rest in peace, Achievement Hunter, because I never watched them. But hopefully, you know, people liked their content. Apparently, they did. It apparently is like a huge loss, right? So. <clears throat>